want to share a word of encouragement with you. It comes from Psalm chapter 80, uh, verse 19. And so I invite you now to hear the word of God. Restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So you can go back and you can read the whole chapter, chapter 80 of Psalm, and uh, you might hear a familiar story. It's a story of God and his people, a story of God and the Israelites. It's a story uh, between God and yourself. It's a story that retells how God has loved us, how God has brought us out from where we were at, God has brought uh, the Israelites out of the bondage, out of slavery. Uh, he has brought us out of the bondage of sin. How God has saved us, restored us, and offered us new life, given us new life, made a, 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 a new way for us to live. And as sometimes happens, uh, something goes wrong. We make the wrong choices. We follow the wrong people. We make our own paths. Uh, paths that lead us away from God and towards uh, destruction, towards a, a, a place of, of un unrest. And as I've told you before, God, God will never force you uh, to love him. God is never going to force you to follow him, to listen to him. God is going to allow you to make your own choices. God is going to allow you to decide whether you want to hear, whether you want to follow, whether you want to be in relationship with God. The best thing about God is that when you're ready, when you make up your mind and you're ready to say, God, hear my cry. God, I am here. God, please forgive me. God, God is already there waiting for you. God is waiting for you, and God is ready to forgive, God is ready to restore, and God is ready to save. Uh, he's been waiting for you to say those words, restore us, God Almighty, make your face to shine upon us, that we might be saved. And so, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you've done, God, God is ready to forgive, God is ready to to love. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for who you are. We give you thanks that, that you do restore us and that you save us. It's in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to invite you to come out this Sunday. We have uh, around 940. We have coffee uh, fellowship. About 10 o'clock, we do Sunday school, and then at 11 o'clock, we have Sunday morning worship. So I want to invite you, I want to encourage you to, to come on out, bring a friend, bring a neighbor, uh, share God's love uh, with each other. Uh, with that said, grace and peace be unto you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.